What's up everybody, Brian Man here, Hands On Auto Training. Guys, one of the most interesting things about being mobile sometimes is you get called to jobs and the customer isn't clear about what's going on. Here we've got ourselves a Ford Escape. I believe this is a 2020, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna go ahead and uh, figure that out as we get started. Um, I think they said they replaced the radio. Well, there is an audio control module back in here and I believe that's what we have in a bag on the floor. So, I think this is, uh, of course, the unit that's been replaced, I'm assuming. Um, but to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a pre-scan on the vehicle and see what we have, see what we come up with. There's a lot of stuff that's loose. Uh, I figure I'll take you guys along for this one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead in here and st uh, start a session of Ford IDS. Guys, we are using a uh, VCM2 here. That's the interface device. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't know if this is a, uh, um, a FDRS vehicle or if this is a uh, IDS vehicle. I think it's going to be FDRS. We'll find out real quick here if you click on the other button, hit check mark. And uh, if it cut, zips through and tells us to use FDRS, we'll know what we got to do. Okay, this is the vehicle. Yes, it's a 2022. Okay, so use for diagnosis and repair system. So we're going to use FDRS on this. Sorry for the detour there. We're going to X out of this and let's get some FDRS up and running. Uh, I am going to start and run this vehicle. Uh, before I do anything here, I just want to do a uh, pre-scan report and see what's going on, what codes we have setting. And then uh, if I need to do a programming, we'll go ahead and get our battery maintainer on this. So I'm out of my uh, IDS. We're going to hop in FDRS. As that is loading up, I do see that we do have a display on a radio. It does show radio stations and stuff like that. Um, look at that. Man for man band. How about that? Brian man, man for man. What's the coincidence happening there, huh? All right, enough monkeying around. Let's see what the FDRS has. And I think IDS may be still left open in the background, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. You see this bottom tab, how we have the IDS icon or kind of set up there. Let's do good old fashioned control, delete, and see if we can't uh, open up our task manager or start something going on here. I wanna make sure my testman uh, is over here. Let's end, end that and go ahead and end all these other tasks. Figure out what I did. If you want to learn more about loading up FDRS and also installing IDS and some more about the software, be sure to check out Hands On Auto Training on the website I have under the core or premium memberships. Uh, I do have quite a few uh, videos showing different programming events and uh, also the install and download. So check that out. Okay, FDRS is loading now. I think that might have been because I had the uh, IDS didn't close all the way for whatever reason. So you see, uh, it will tell us what operating system you're at, at here when you go to log in. I'll tell you about any updates you have to do. I just used this the other day, did some blind spot monitors on a uh, 2021 Transit, I believe. So we gotta choose our device. We're doing a VCM2 wired here, hit okay. And at this point, we have to read vehicle from uh, the VIN. I'm sorry, it has a 2020 transit, not a 2021. But we're going to hit read VIN from vehicle. Hmm. I thought I did have my internet up. Hit the go button. 82508. I'm making sure that's on the uh, VIN plate here. 82508. And you can see we do have the vehicle running, 14.4 volts there. I don't have my maintainer on here yet. I just want to make sure the vehicle ran. And as I'm doing the uh, scan report, we're going to go ahead and see what goes on here. But and this is taking some time here. There we go. Finally loaded up. So I'm going to take a look here and see what codes we have. We go to our toolbox. We can run a self-test of the entire vehicle right here. So just like old IDS, FDRS, we have the red toolbox. A lot of functions are done there. So we'll hit the run button. And we're gonna click on run all CMDTCs because I wanna see everything. So I'm not seeing any codes. That's a sync module APIM. And uh, I think I'm gonna hop in some service information real quick. What I wanna do is take a look at this uh, vehicle, at the different uh, programming features or functions, whatever may be necessary, because I really don't know what's going on here. So 
So let's take a look at the APIM and make sure that that is actually the module that uh, looks like the APIM. Um, you got to remove the audio control module, ACM, and then uh, go to the APIM, which the APIM is apparently this module here. Let's see if this loads up this picture. That's this guy right here. Let's see what the ACM looks like, audio control module. I believe that's what that stands for. That's RCM. Huh. Did I not click on ACM? I just gotta tell you what. Uh, the, the problems we have with our hyperlinks and poor service information is really annoying. So let's click on audio control module, ACM, one more time. I clicked on that link before and put me to an RCM, which is a restraints control module. Looking back here, I don't see Let's see, ACM, audio control module, looks no DTCs. Not sure what's going on here. Let's go back and try and refresh this page from all data because it's gotten silly on us. If this doesn't load up, I'll go ahead and enter. Well, that's the wrong page. I want this page here. Audio front control module, ACM. Using a diagnostic scan tool, complete the PMI process for the ACM following the on-screen instructions. So we'll go back to our scan tool, and we'll, we can go over here to our audio control module. We'll go directly into this module if it'll let us. Double click on this, will it? Uh, okay, uh, we'll go over to the toolbox, and we can select our ACM, I believe, from here. I'm still learning it being a better navigator of FDRS. I don't use it every day, so uh, I'm going to hit the stop on a self-test. So we do have a PMI and a configuration. So right now, I'm gonna go get my generator on this vehicle so that we can uh, go ahead and maintain our battery voltage. I pop the hood, oh, pull twice, okay. I pulled twice, is it open? Sometimes these cars can be funny. You never know what's going on with them. Always something new to learn. That's the one thing about our industry that makes my job kind of fun sometimes. So let me go ahead and get my maintainer on here. Got the good old Harbor Freight Predator here. Not too bad of a generator. It's been working out pretty well for me. Just two second pull usually does it. There you go. Get this all fired up. All right, we've got our top down 90,000 battery maintainer going on here. This charger's been very good to me. I actually bought a second one uh, for my second guy I'm looking to hire in Cleveland. So if you're out there and you want a job, uh, contact me. So looking for a good, reliable technician. But you can see we're pumping some current in there, so I'm happy with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, ACM, Perennial Module Installation, PMI. Hit the download button right here. And this will download the app, so now I can run it. As you see, I'm going to click on the Run button. I'll be the first one to tell you guys I have not done one of these. So before commencing this procedure, connect to a battery maintainer. We do have that going on. You can see down here we do have our 13.5 volts. So we're going to click on the yes. Is the original module installed? I don't think so. I'm going to make a call to the shop to make sure. Okay, so is the original module installed? I had to call the customers on vacation. Long story here. But no, the original module is not installed. So we're going to click on no. Turn ignition on, engine off, which we already have that. Okay. And we're doing something right now. Okay, turn the ignition to the off position. Go ahead and push that off. And okay. Application's finished. Okay. Now, in the service information, I did not see anything about the uh, on-screen, uh, uh, should I say, on-screen instruction about the configuration. So, I do want to take a look at, like sometimes they have a, a module configuration part of all data. We'll try this. And this is also on Ford and Identifix and everywhere else. Uh, you look, 
it may tell us uh, another step to do here. So I want to make sure I do the job right for my customer and we get this thing done. That's a bunch of codes. As you see, my internet's being a little bit slow here. Power for the course lately. There we go. So there's usually a chart here. All right, so we have this ACM, Perial Module Installation, available. Reflash and program capability, yes, capable. So it doesn't really say anything else. I'm about to hit the uh, configuration button anyways. I'm gonna hit this and just do this because I feel like it should be done. I'm taking a, uh, a chance here, guys. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm gonna mess it up? I, I honestly don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, the run button on this ACM audio control module configuration and we'll see what it says. We do have our battery maintainer on here. Ignition on, engine off, so we'll go ahead and bump that key button, get the dash light up so we got our check engine light and other indicators. So I haven't done this process on one of these new ones yet. Turn the ignition off. Okay. The application is finished. Okay. So at this point, I think I'm going to run back to the red toolbox uh, or hit the all button, should I say here, right here, hit all. Seems like, there we go. And I'm going to run a self test right here on everything. Run. Oh, what happened? I think I clicked the wrong thing. Well, maybe I didn't. Run all DT CMDTCs. There we go. Key on, engine off. There we go. Continue. Okay, now we've got a code in our APIM. Hmm. 07A. Private communication network. What happened here? In our APIM, I didn't have that before, I don't think. Don't recall that code being there. Missing message. Let's go ahead and clear and retest. Continue. And uh, after I clear and retest, I'm gonna go see what happens here. I wanna see if the radio actually works. Nothing like having codes after you touch stuff. Okay, so now we've got a code in our APIM. Passes CMDTCs. Can I just do a self-test on just the uh, that module all by itself, the APIM? Let's double check this. Click on this. Back here. Hit the stop button. Just gonna go right to my APIM. APIM sync module and we're just going to click on the run button so that's running i'm just double checking they did an acm yes yes none run selected self-test So we're gonna run on-demand and CMDTCs, so we'll see if it pops a fault now. Make sure all the USB ports are disconnected from the vehicle, I don't see any. Okay, USB port three, port two, and port one. Let's take a look here. I bet you we probably got some stuff disconnected, guys. What's this stuff? It's like the moon roof or something. Hmm. It's always a messed up situation when the customer or the owner or whatever isn't here, whoever's working on it to help me out. I'm taking a look around. This clip's in here. Where are all the USB ports? I bet you they should be right up in here. 
there's a connector for something. There's a USB port right here. Maybe I should plug this in. Let's try this. Good old fashioned micro or whatever you call that, USB. We'll plug that guy in. Um, and that should, oh, that's gonna hook up these two. There's two ports over here. So that's definitely gonna be two of them. Where's the other ones at? Man. Let's try and retest. Click on the retest button. And my curiosity is going to ask me. No, 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 no. I'm curious as to whether these things will uh, be down to one USB code. Oh, APIM pass. I'm happy about that. I don't know why my radio doesn't work. I don't know where the antenna is on this vehicle. So you've got the headliner all loose. Um, sometimes these things have antenna in the glass. Could be this guy for a digital antenna, but the AM antenna, I don't know where it is. I can hardly see through the windows. Let's try our FM stations. Oop. Let's take a look and see if we got FM. So how do we do this? Sources, FM. Finally sleep at night. Point inspection. So, They'll do an estimate and AM is not working, and I don't know why. Let me go to back to AM because I thought that uh, I'm a little further away from home. Maybe the AM station I'm trying to do is not going to pick up. But I mean, we should be able to pick up a few stations by now on AM, I believe. I don't know why his AM doesn't work. Um, really not sure what else might be going on. But I think we can say with confidence we did our job right. If you know something about this job that I don't know, please uh, reach out to me. Let me know so I can help others. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my post-scan report on this, wrap it all up. Be sure to check out Hands-On Auto Training. Also, check in the link in the description. I got a bunch of the stuff I use that I buy from Amazon, some tools and equipment that might be helpful for you. Not not bad prices on that stuff. It gives me like, you know, 20-cent kickback or something if you buy something. So you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.